Crude oil is bought and sold by volume with a 42 gallon barrel as a standard unit of measure. Now it's important to understand that this standard barrel is considered to exist at standard conditions of 60 degrees Fahrenheit with no BS and W impurities. Oil expands and contracts with temperature. So a barrel of oil will occupy a larger volume at 80 degrees Fahrenheit than it does at say 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that the actual level of oil in this barrel as well as in a lease tank, will vary greatly depending on temperature. And if you add in BS and W impurities, well, it becomes apparent quickly that measuring crude volume is not always an easy task. At today's oil prices, a lot of revenue can be lost if crude is inaccurately measured. If it has been determined that hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, is present in the area, be sure to wear the proper breathing apparatus. In any case, be sure to stand upwind of the thief hatch as it is opened. Take a good look at the oil. Is it boiling? If it is, you'll have to come back at a later time to work the tank. If the oil is calm, you can go ahead and work the tank. It's a good idea to go ahead and suspend the thermometer in the oil now, before you take the oil sample. This allows the thermometer to stabilize as you take the sample and ultimately saves time later. Lower the thermometer slowly into the oil, stopping at mid-level in the tank. Keep the thermometer away from the wall of the tank itself. Fasten the thermometer rope securely to the thief hatch before you go on to take a sample. Always be sure to use a clean, dry thief when taking a sample. Open the thief's rotating valve Set the trip and lower the thief through the thief hatch. Once the thief is at the correct level, trip it to take a sample.